Welcome back to this video series on doing the worksheets. Uh, in the last video we completed this adjustments column and now we need to create the adjusted trial balance column. And all this is really is the trial balance column combined with the adjustments column. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to um, add or subtract across. We're going to do each row uh, and if there's just one thing in either of these rows, for example in cash, there's just the cash and nothing in the adjustments column um, or in this in the insurance expense column there's just insurance expense but nothing on the trial balance then we're just going to put whatever value is there but if there's a figure in both columns if they're in the same column like for example wages expenses in the same column as wages expense in the adjustment column we're going to add them together and put them in the same column over here this will end up here or we'll subtract them well, if they're in different columns like prepaid insurance we'll subtract this one from the one in the credits column and then we'll put the final product in the normal balance uh, in the normal balance column of the adjusted trial balance and so for accounts like prepaid insurance with, where there's one that's different we have to know well which one of these is the normal balance and so you'll have to have that memorized um, th there's that acronym there or, I'm sorry there's that acronym after we eat, let's read comics, uh, assets, with, uh, assets, withdrawals, and expenses are all debits, and then uh, the, the others are credits. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to do the adjusted trial balance column. So cash, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start at the top and work downward. Here's cash, 87, 5, 6, 60. There's that. And then for this next column, we've got something in the debit column here and something in the credit column here and so we're going to subtract it and I'll do this on my little calculator 11,000 minus 1,000 equals 10,000 there it is 10,000 sorry 10,000 in the adjusted trial balance column there it is uh, now there's only one equipment so 5,000 I'll carry that across and then on this one there's four hundred dollars here and four hundred dollars here so we need them to add them together there's eight hundred dollars in the credit side then supplies there's a debit of four hundred fifty and the credit of two hundred fifty this means that we need to subtract them and since supplies is an asset we know that that's going to end up in the debit column so here we go four fifty minus two fifty is two hundred there it is in the debit column. Accounts payable, we don't have anything in either column there. Uh, I guess we didn't have any accounts payable this month. Um, in the next column we have capital. There's only uh, that one account. Uh, there's only the credit side in the trial balance, so we don't need to do any math. Um, wages expense, we've got 840 in the debit column and 220 in the debit column, so let me combine them here. It's going to equal 1060. There they are. And here's rent expense. We just transfer to cost. And then insurance expense is $1,000. Uh, depreciation expense, $400. Uh, uh, supplies expense, $250. And then wages payable is $220. And for these, uh, it's also important to remember, we talked about this earlier, remember to get these ones here at the bottom as well. Sometimes students forget these. And now I'm going to go ahead and add down. I'm going to add up the debit column. I'm going to add up the credit column just to make sure once again that everything is balanced. So here we go. 87,560. And the answer here on this side is uh, one hundred and six dollars or one hundred six thousand dollars and forty bucks. So there's that first side. Let me do the other side. And lo and behold, it balances. So this means I can know, or I should type it in down here. I can know that these two columns they balance. I've done everything correctly and so everything works out. And now I'm done with the adjusted trial balance column of the worksheet.